Catholic Confederates, Faith and Duty in the Civil War South by Gracian Krzyzewski is a historical exploration of the role that Catholic faith played in the lives of Confederates during the American Civil War. The work delves into how Southern Catholics reconciled their religious beliefs with the political and military conflict that defined the era, examining the intersection of faith, identity, and allegiance to the Confederate cause. Krasewski begins by establishing the context in which Southern Catholics found themselves at the outbreak of the Civil War. Catholicism was a minority faith in the predominantly Protestant South. Despite this, Catholics were fully integrated into Southern society and often shared the same values and outlook as their Protestant neighbors, including a commitment to the institution of slavery, which many Southern Catholics defended on religious and economic grounds. The author shows that Catholic clergy and laity navigated a complex political landscape. He describes how bishops and priests endeavored to maintain a delicate balance, supporting the Confederate government while also upholding the universality of the Catholic Church. Some clergymen were outspoken in championing the Confederate cause, using biblical and theological arguments to justify secession and the war. Krasewski pays particular attention to how Catholics express their Confederate identity through religious practice. He asserts that the war intensified the faith of many Catholics, manifested in an increased dedication to religious rituals and a reliance on faith for solace and guidance. The Southern Catholic Church provided not only spiritual comfort but also social and material support for the war effort, including the care of wounded soldiers and the provision of chaplains to the Confederate Army. The book also examines the significance of Catholic figures in the Confederate military. Krzyzewski tells the stories of prominent Catholic officers and their personal reconciliations of faith with military duty. Despite the challenges and dilemmas they faced, these individuals often saw no contradiction between their service to the Confederacy and their religious convictions. Krasevsky highlights individuals like General P.G.T. Beauregard and Admiral Raphael Semmes, who navigated their public and military lives as both devout Catholics and ardent Confederates. Diving into the everyday life of Catholic soldiers, the book reveals how Catholicism influenced the rank and file. Soldiers attended Mass, prayed the Rosary, and sought the sacraments even on the front lines. For these men, Catholicism offered a framework for understanding their experiences and a moral compass amidst the chaos of war. The author does not overlook the complexities and contradictions of Southern Catholicism, such as the juxtaposition of a universal religion with a regional nationalist movement. Krzyzewski examines the internal conflicts faced by Catholics who were Unionists or opposed to slavery. He discusses how the war strained relationships within the Church especially when Southern Catholics confronted the different attitudes of foreign-born Catholic immigrants and Northern Catholics. In the face of widespread devastation and the ultimate defeat of the Confederacy, Krzyzewski analyzes how Catholic Confederates coped with loss. Many saw the war's outcome as divine will and a call for penance. Krzyzewski presents the post-war period as a time of reflection and re-evaluation of the Confederate Catholic identity. Some Catholics continued to romanticize the Confederate cause, while others sought to reconcile their beliefs with the realities of Reconstruction and the transformed social order. Krzyzewski's exploration extends to Catholic women, examining how they contributed to the war effort and managed households while their husbands and sons were away fighting. He depicts their strong faith and the pivotal role they played in supporting and sustaining the morale of the Confederacy. These women often bore the brunt of wartime hardships, and their piety was a source of strength for both themselves and their communities. Although the book is not a comprehensive theological or doctrinal analysis, Krzyzewski delves into the religious rationale that some Catholics used to justify the Confederate cause. He shows how scripture and Catholic social teaching were applied and sometimes manipulated to defend the South's actions and institutions, including slavery. The author critically examines these justifications, considering the broader implications for the Church's historical relationship with slavery and civil authority. In the latter chapters, Krzyzewski explores how the aftermath of the war forced Southern Catholics to confront the Church's changing role in a defeated South. 
They debated issues of loyalty, citizenship, and the reconciliation of divided loyalties between the church, their shattered homeland, and an emerging new national order. The book highlights how the post-war period was a time of both rebuilding and transformation for the Catholic Church in the South. Krasevsky's work contributes to a more nuanced understanding of the Civil War by spotlighting the oft-neglected experiences of Catholic Confederates, elucidating how their faith shaped and was shaped by the conflict. The book challenges the monolithic portrayal of the Confederacy as an exclusively Protestant endeavor, revealing a more complex religious landscape. The book concludes with a reflection on the legacy of Catholic Confederates and the ways in which the war reshaped the Southern Catholic Church. Though numerically few, Catholics played an important role in Confederate society and their experiences during the Civil War had lasting effects on the development of Catholicism in the American South. Krasewski's study ultimately shows how, despite the devastation of war and the challenge to their regional identity, Catholic Confederates sought to reconcile their faith with the changing world around them and to forge a place for their religious traditions in the postbellum era. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.